Hey, I'm Shirley, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a brand new uh, snack box that I found. It's called Top Munch, and this is the, it comes in a sleeve package like this. It has plastic wrap around it, um, and then, of course, just a plain white box. It, um, it says, uh, world's flavors in a box, so it's like different um, um, countries each month. This one is Welcome to the Netherlands. Um, so I guess it's all like stuff like Dutch and stuff. So, ooh, not too bad. Open it up. There, um, on here, it, there's a little booklet that comes in here. And it says like Top Travels to the Netherlands. Um, gives you a list of all the snacks that are in here and some information on them. It says Earn Points and Redeem Them for Discounts. Um, and it says hello good day, which is hello instead of hello, it's hello. Goody dag, goody dag, hello goody dag, and that means hello good day, I guess. So, um, it just says a little bit about their culture and some little little information about their um, music things, their top music, and it also gives you like. Um, like your normal greetings, how they would be in English and how they would be in Dutch. So, pretty cool. So you can learn a little bit. <sighs> Let's see. First thing. Wow. A big, huge bag of these. These are Ruder Banquet Speculas. It's windmill spice cookies. Um, you get a good size bag of these, too. Speculas is a famous Dutch cookie tradition, traditionally baked for the holiday of Sinterlakas, celebrated in the Netherlands on the 5th of December. Speculas cookies are thin, crunchy, and lightly browned. The spices used in speculas are cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, cardamom, and white pepper, with some of the other ingredients including white flour, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, jeez. Smell good. It's kind of a weird packaging here, though. It's like the windmill cookies, basically, like we grew up on. That if you've ever ate them. Oh, my God! Tastes like the cookies that we used to eat when I was little. And they still have them out today. I don't remember what brand they are, but. These days, just like them. Super good. Mmm. Those are really good. That's definitely a thumbs up. Mmm. Wow. Pretty good size uh, package. The next things are Cheese Krispies. These are Euro Pastries Cheese Krispies. Um, these Cheese Krispies, Cheese Krispies are also known as... Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this wrong. It's a uh, Simlik Kaznatis. Not sure. Sorry if I said it wrong. And are made with high quality butter, Gouda, and Edam cheese. Considering we are sending out a relatively sweet box, this savory provides a unique balance in your palate and keeps your mouth wanting for more. I love cheesy things so and it's a whole package yummy 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 I see one thing that I've had already and I absolutely love them actually I had them actually, <laughs> I'll get to that actually soon but there's like whole cheese crispy some of these are broke ah, it's like little pieces of bread almost in a way Take one of these and broke. Mmm. 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 Yummy. These are super good. Oh, love them. All right, I gotta get to these next things. That I just had these when actually they were serving them 
in the morning on a plane ride that I was just going to. Um, I went down to uh, Texas, um, down in Houston, and I was on a uh, flight, and they were giving these away to every passenger on the flight. They're strip waffles. Except they were only given single ones. They weren't given the big pack like these. Um, a strip waffle, it's a syrup waffle, actually. It's a waffle made from two thin layers of baked dough with a caramel-like syrup filling in the middle. And it's very popular in the Netherlands, where they were first made in the city of Gouda. Do they make Gouda cheese there, too? Because I love Gouda cheese. Um, let me see here. It's a family business specialized in Dutch stroop waffles. Uh, to anyone who has lived or lived in or visited Holland, stroop waffles is one snack they will come across and might even bring back home. I just ordered some of these, so I but I'm gonna open this bag because I love them. And what they do is basically they show people like putting them over a warm cup of like coffee or tea to warm them up, and that's when they're better. So. But this is what they look like, you know, if you have like a waffle maker. But so you can see they're soft and bendy. Even better when they're warmer. <sighs> they smell so good too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's eight in here. Oh my god. Has a light cinnamon taste to it, and these are super good. Warmed up a little would be a little bit better, but oh my god, so good! Yummy. I gotta close this up because I'll sit here and eat them all. <laughs> so good. I love them. So far, three for three. I'm happy. Um. There's not much stuff in here because these are all big packs. Um, the next thing is Cafe Noir. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to like these because it looks like there's coffee beans or something in them. You get a full pack of these. Uh, Cafe Noir is a crunchy cookie topped with a sweet, co yep, coffee flavor. I don't like coffee. Um, <laughs> people out there that like coffee might like these. I don't like coffee, so I don't know how I'm going to like these. This is a Dutch favorite that looks to have less sugar and has a much stronger coffee flavor. Renowned Dutch bakers who come with over 120 years of experience bake this delicious cookie. Dip this cookie in your coffee, hot, a cup of hot joe uh, coffee or tea and we'll be faced with a delicious indulgence. <laughs> oh yeah you can smell the coffee but it's like a cookie on like bready cookie like cookie on the bottom and like chocolate toffee topping doesn't have that strong of a coffee taste actually it's more like I don't know graham cracker taste to me. It tastes more like graham crackers. But it's a full pack of these. It tastes more like yeah, it tastes more like toffee. Or like kind of like a, I don't know, like a graham cracker with toffee on it. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, and the last thing on here, I wasn't too big on those. Um, the last thing in here, which I don't think I'm going to like either, um, because I don't like licorice that much, and Dutch is a big licorice country. Um, Dutch is like, I, I guess the, one of their favorite things is licorice there, and this looks like it is the, um, black licorice, and that's like the worst. I can maybe tolerate like the red licorice or something like that, but the, the, no. Um, Dutch people love their licorice. Not the American version of the licorice, but a different kind of licorice. Very traditional to the Netherlands. This licorice is also called salm salmiac. 
Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, and is a variety of licorice flavored by ammonium chloride, giving it an astringent, salty taste. Ew, weird. Um, this licorice is an acquired taste, and a Dutch love feeding this to foreigners to film their reaction. So here we go. I'm a foreigner to Dutch, so yeah, we're going to get this reaction here. Um, the Dutch love their licorice so much that they consume almost four pounds of it in a year. Holy cow. Along with Dutch cheese and hagelslag, which is Dutch sprinkles, licorice is one of the items that over half of all Dutch vacation goers won't leave home without. All right. Let's try this. I'm, I have a feeling I'm not going to like this at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god, it smells funky. It's like little black hard tab. Ugh. Uh. Oh, it is like the black licorice. I can't. Sorry. No. Oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's wrong. Oh, that's bad. I'm sorry. These are uh, Gustav's Dutch licorice drops. It is a like a like the like the black licorice stuff that we have here in the states. And it, I'm sorry, that is just wrong. <laughs> it's yeah. Okay, so we had a total of five items. They were big packages, so. You, can't fit much in these boxes um, when they're that big. But three out of the five I absolutely love. Two of them I do not like, um, which is the Cafe Noir cookies and this black licorice. Otherwise, the windmill cookies, absolutely love them. The cheese strips, love those too. And of course, the Stroop waffles, number one favorite. Um, Again, this is uh, a different um, snack box that I just found online. Wanted to give it a try, see how it would be. Um, I only paid $15 for this one, actually, because uh, I found a good deal online. I'm not sure if it's still live. I'll look for it, check it out, and see. I'll add my link below and all the information. Um, you can sign up and give yourself a try if you want. But Top Munch completely different one every month is a different country so um that's it for this month's box for uh the netherlands give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video and subscribe below thanks for joining me bye